to another Science at Home. For today's experiment, you're going to need some clear glasses. You'll need a knife, a cutting board, hydrogen peroxide, and a few different types of vegetables. You can potentially also use fruit for this as well. But what we're looking to do today is to do a little experiment that's going to show us some different enzymes that are in living things like fruits and vegetables and how it works as a catalyst to break down hydrogen peroxide. So the first step here is going to be to cut some small pieces off of your fruit or vegetable. So you might need an adult to help you out with this. Uh, but you're going to want just a small little slice. It doesn't have to be really big. So I'm going to cut a little piece of the carrot and then a little slice of my potato. And then I'm going to stick these in our glasses and add hydrogen peroxide. And you want to add enough so that they are submerged in the hydrogen peroxide. Let's get over there. Good there. Now, what you're going to start to see happen is you're going to start to see bubbles forming on these vegetables, and they're going to slowly start to um, go up to the surface. And so what is happening is there's an enzyme called a catalase in all living things, and it reacts with the hydrogen peroxide to break it down into the oxygen and the water. And so what you're seeing in the bubbles is the oxygen being released. Now both of these are raw. If you want to try a little twist to this experiment, you can try cooking these vegetables first and seeing if that makes a difference. Um, you can even try freezing them first and see if that makes a difference in the process. Um, but yeah, you can see really the potato works the best. You're getting a lot of bubbles on there, especially because it has a pretty large surface area for the reaction to take place. But you can also see those bubbles forming on the carrot as well. And as you let it go longer and longer, you'll start to see more and more bubbles forming. Give it a little shake, see if we can release some. Yeah, you can see a lot of bubbles coming up there when I do that. They'll get kind of stuck on the underside of it, but a little shake, they'll come loose and go up to the surface. So hopefully you enjoy this experiment. Uh, try it out at home and let us know what things you used and how much bubble you got from it. And safely, while your dog can help you out, because he's going to want to eat some of it too.